Living in Florida, the Sunshine State's shadow side for retirees. People love to talk about Florida like it's this retirement mecca. The weather, they say, is amazing nine months out of the year. There's no state income tax. And let's face it, they do a pretty good job of catering to the older demographic. But every silver lining has a cloud, and Florida's is muggier than most. Let's talk about what those tourist brochures don't tell you. Intensely humid summers. First things first, Florida doesn't just get hot, it gets humid hot, the kind of heat where you feel like you're swimming through your day. For some retirees, this is a deal breaker. Sure, being warm year-round has its perks, but stepping outside only to need another shower isn't one of them. The bug factor love bugs, mosquitoes, palmetto bugs, which are basically giant flying roaches. Take your pick, they've got them all. The insect population in Florida isn't playing around. It's like a biblical plague at times, and that's just another Tuesday. Insurance and the cost of living. No state income tax, sure, but have you checked out the property taxes or the insurance rates? They're as friendly as an alligator with a toothache, especially with hurricanes knocking on your front door every season. Home insurance can give your wallet a good wallop. Traffic and tourists. Ever been in Orlando during peak Disney season? It's a slow-moving conga line of cars. And it's not just Orlando. Lots of places in Florida are tourist hotspots year-round. This means traffic, sure, but it also means crowds, noise, and sometimes a bit more excitement than you bargained for. Wildlife encounters. Beaches, sunshine, and palm trees come with a few extra friends in the form of alligators and snakes. You might not see them often, but when you do, you'll remember why the term wildlife doesn't just refer to the nightlife on Miami Beach. The hustle and bustle retirement's about relaxation, right? But with so many people packed into the hot spots of Florida, finding peace can be tougher than snagging that early bird special at the local diner. The constant flow of visitors and new residents keeps things lively, but sometimes retirees are just looking for quiet. Isolation from family. If your family is spread out over the states or the globe, Florida's geographical location can make impromptu visits a logistical challenge. And if you're moving there, you might just be creating distance between yourself and your loved ones. I'm not saying Florida's all bad, far from it. It's got its charms and I get why it's the go-to for many people looking to retire. But like any place, it's got its drawbacks. Weigh these up against those palm trees and sunny skies before you decide to call the Sunshine State home. Sure, I'm up here in Portland, Oregon, where the rain is more reliable than the postman, but sometimes a bit of drizzle is exactly what you need to appreciate the warmth of a good coffee shop. Retirement's about finding your perfect fit. Florida could be it, but just remember, even paradise isn't perfect.